All right, he's done. Now, why? Oh, you his ass. Why Man. do? Hold on a second. Can I can't move after this or not? Um, yes. As a matter of fact, you can. Uh, let me make sure that I can. I know that you can get the dead symbol to do the whole thing, but I don't know how. So anyway, we know he's dead. Yeah. He's done. Yeah, he's he's got the little skull up there. Yeah, we, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Nightbird, uh, so, you're a smart. And yes, Nightbird, you can move so again as part of. So we're killing these people. I I I don't think uh, Nightbird had much of a choice. It's an honor thing with her. I you... believe Nightbird is what you humans call a badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, these are ninja, so they're, they're, they're not honorable anyway. And they obviously killed people. Eh, so... It depends on the clan, but... Yeah, uh, but... The reason why I'm asking is that do you want to keep any of these fools alive so we can question well, them? Which one? I mean, that's up to you. I'm, I'm, I'm protecting you and the office and the, the captain right now. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah, that's so, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so I want to go over here and help Rios and Chris. Because there's two of them over here. Okay. Okay, and don't forget to turn oh, yourself quick. around. Oh yeah, he can um, make it though. One, two, three, four, five, I six. Even yeah, oh, even even if he ran all the way around, um, Andon, uh, he would have enough movement to do it. Okay, but you cannot attack again this round. You get two simple actions. Yeah. One of them can be movement, the other an attack. So yeah, I'm going to buy the fruit for multiple attacks or something. Okay, so that is you in a nutshell. Uh, okay, Peaches, you're next. Well, um, I'm going to engage Officer Shang. Okay. So you move so, up, and don't forget to, to select him as a target. Okay, how do I do that? Just okay. select him? Well, run your mouse okay. over. Run yeah, your... Run, check the letter. Yeah, run your mouse over the top and hit T. And that will get there you there. You okay. And okay. then uh, go ahead and open your sheet. And don't forget you're at minus two to hit. All right. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, should probably use my shotgun. Um, point blank. Ooh. Well, uh, the question is, did you have time to get out your shotgun? Um, I'm going to say... It's a simple action. It's Isn't Yeah, it? yeah. it would be a simple action, but that means you've only got one other simple action. So you can pull it out and you can attack once. That's all I plan to do. Okay. Ooh. Kick his ass. Pull it out and shoot him. Point blank. That's right. But, uh, there are rules about that, right? Yes. Uh, I need you to roll a standard. Just, just open your sheet and hit the dexterity. And there's no penalty or anything for that. Uh, Good. Yeah, you're, you're not going to have any bonuses or penalties. So, uh, right. go ahead and, and do your thing. Just make your roll. Uh, uh, fire combat. Mm -hmm. um, the bonus is minus two, right? Uh, the, yeah, you've got a penalty of two, so it, that comes as a minus. All right. And then, uh, target's just the one. Just uh, hit that, right? Yep, that should Whoa. do. Oh no! Um, oh, no! Uh, your weapon jams for the remainder of the scene. Oh, so man. on your sheet, um, uh, on the title for that particular thing, uh, put jammed at the very front. Uh, uh, after the tech level. Under gear? Under gear. And you're disconnected. Oh, wait a minute. You're a core earther. You're not disconnected. Yeah. But. Yeah. That, that, so where do I type? Jammed? Okay. Let me, let me get into your sheet real quick. 
uh, you're going to go to your gear tab on your sheet. Yeah. You're, you're going to go down to yeah. your Remington. Got it. Look at the edit box at the far right. Okay, edit. Okay. And then click in the title up there behind Tech 22. Put a ah. semicolon and a space and write jammed. Okay, well, close enough. That works. That will work. Okay, um, so that's jammed. And uh, let me see what your tech levels are. Your power gloves are a 27. Uh, oh, core earth. Boy, I always forget this. That's all right. Hang on just a minute. What am I doing? I've got it right here. That's why I put it together like that, knucklehead. Uh, let's see, bonus chart. No, not bonus chart. I don't want the bonus chart. Close that. Uh, cause of axioms. Here we go. So core earth is tech 23. So your, uh, your power gloves uh, stop working for a moment um, because they are tech 27. You can't disconnect, but they can. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so your power gloves are the only thing that that uh, that disconnect. Um, I can have you make a roll at the end of the fight, uh, if that's not also the end of the scene. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, close that. Close that. Okay. Um, you missed the ninja, and there's no way back from that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. That's peaches. You can't disconnect yeah, it from Earth. Hmm? No, no, but I'm armored and Captain Bouchard doesn't seem to be. Unless he's wearing his vest and I just don't know it. That's true. Um, but you're not even able to do an active defense because of your failure. Because you tried That's to right. do something active. Okay, Artorius, you're next. Hang on, Peaches, I am coming to help. Okay, don't and, forget uh, to point your arrow in the right spot. That's what I'm trying to get to work on that. Uh, why do you move? Back. Okay, back up, and then shift, and roll your mouse. There, it there goes. you go. Okay. I got him. All right, him don't targeted. forget to target him. You've got him targeted. And, and I'm going to attempt to hit him with my battle axe. Uh, okay, now it was it took one of your actions, one of your simple actions, to do that. So you get to hit him, yeah. but don't forget you're at a minus two. I got you. All right, you remember how to bring that up? I just clicked the dice, right? Um, yeah, you can click the dice. It will open up a skill test window for you. Uh, you put uh, there. We go minus right. two in the upper right hand corner and hit your uh, hit your roll at the bottom of the window. Minus two in there. Oh, I don't know. There we go. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Oh, that damn it. Okay. Oh, you got a failure and a possible <laughs> disconnect. So you didn't do any monkey. damage and you missed. Now, let me open up your sheet. Uh, let's see. She. Uh, <laughs> Shit-talking mushroom. <laughs> okay, so let's see. You're from Isle. Your tech level is a 14. Let's see what you've got. Gear. Uh, you've got Artorias Spear, which is... Oh, wait a minute. Did you get that back already? Hang on. Let me let me read on that. Um, will not have you, for three days. Yeah, you don't yeah, have no, it back yet. I don't have it yet. I just got the axe in my uh, corpo. Okay. That's all I've got. Okay, let me check your others. Okay, your mobile phone is a Tech 23. Um, that is above, but that is Core Earth Axiom, so it was only one. Guess what? You do not disconnect, you lucky sap. Okay. Okay. I'm having a rough night for rolls, man. Yeah, you really are, but it, <laughs> hey, at least you didn't... <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> it's a plus. At least you didn't get spanked too bad. Um, yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Catherine, you're back. Place. Good. Okay, so yeah. let's see. That was Artorius. Chris, you're next. 
Okay. So, you may not like me, again, with my tri- liberal use of telekinesis. No, it, it's, it's your uh, thing, dude. Can I try to lift this guy up straight into the air to let him fall down to I, the earth? I don't see why not. Um, uh, don't forget to target him, just in case. I'll ha- there you go. That's, uh, I don't know how you're going to you know, roll this because you know, that's going to be a telekinesis roll. And like I would assume he would try to res- have to roll something to resist it. Um. Well, let let's take a look. Telekinesis. Uh, the scientist wards off incoming attacks with a barrier of raw telekinetic energy. Successful activation. No, that, adds- oh, that's, that's, that's telekinetic no, barrier, right? Barrier. Looking at the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. So you know what? Let's just read this. Okay. Uh. Let's see. To do. To do. To do. Telekinesis to fly to okay. You can move things with your mind. That includes people. Your strength is equal to your mind. Okay. So what is what is Chris's mind? Ten. Ten. Okay. A ten on the value and measure chart is a hundred pounds. Okay. So uh, let me make sure about that. Kilos. Yes. Yes. It's pounds. Um, so, wait a minute, no, measure, mod, pounds, okay, kilograms is zero, to convert to pounds is minus two, so, okay, so you can move 40 pounds with your mind, okay? Wait, what? Um, the mind of 10? With a mind of 10, but here's the deal, the value measure conversion, okay, the standard is kilograms. So a value 10 uh, is 100 kilograms. Okay, no adjustment for that. So that would be 220 pounds. To adjust for pounds, you subtract 2 from the value. A value of 8 gives you 40. Okay. Um, But you know that there are things that you can do. So do you still want to give it a try? Hold on a second real quick. So... How many kilograms can I lift? Okay, you can lift. Wait a minute, hold on. At kilograms. See, that doesn't make any sense. That's right. You've got it. Yeah, because kilograms is heavier. Yeah, so how many kilograms can I lift? What the hell did they do here? Okay, um, Ulysses Spieler really screwed up this chart. Um, 2.2 pounds or something. Yeah, a kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So you could lift 220 pounds. So this ninja is bound to be well within your your capability of lifting with a basic roll. Okay. Um, so let's see. The let's make let me make sure that I've got the correct thing set on that because a lot of things changed. Uh, let's see, difficulty number, why yeah. didn't it give the difficulty number? Uh, hold it's, on. It... Okay, kinesis, one action, 25 meters. Okay, I got to pop open the uh, the actual kinesis thing. Uh, it said easy. Yeah, that that's says easy, number. but I don't think that's right. I changed it today. Uh, let me let me look on it. Okay, telekinesis is core two eleven. I love that I put in all the page numbers so that I could verify stuff. Uh, core two eleven, and you're absolutely right. I'm gonna have to re- revise that chart. That's just stupid. It should be a plus two, not a minus two. Okay, core two eleven telekinesis. Difficulty number is easy. So. Uh, and the strength value is your mind, so that's 220 pounds. Uh, this officer you're, you're gauging is probably no more than 200. So it's easy. Go ahead and roll it. And if you roll really okay. well... <laughs> okay, so 18. That's an outstanding success. <laughs> How high did you want him uh, to go? 21. Yeah, action total of uh, twenty. Um, how, how far will you allow him to go up? <laughs> well, let's see. Outstanding range of fifty meters 
and uh, and add plus four to the power's effective strength. So your regular range on this is your walking speed. His walking speed, since he has a ten. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, and this you also mentions that you can also run while levitating yourself. Yeah, while levitating so, yourself. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that you know, if we're gonna go by those rules, I could easily get him about thirty meters if his speed is ten. Yeah, his speed is ten, but the range. Um, Let's see. It's okay, it's 50 meters here. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do it. Here's how I'm gonna do it based on his uh, based on his mass and everything like that. You can get him 11 meters in the air. Okay, that's 33 feet. Uh, okay. Actually, it's further that's... than that. Okay, and then I. After I get him up in the air, I release it. He's falling. He's going to take fall damage on him when he returns to the ground. <laughs> Man, you're nasty. You, that's just nasty. Okay. Uh, so, so, you know, so I just fling him into the air. Uh, let's see. Wow, nice knowing you, dude. <laughs> uh, plus he's disconnected. Okay, where's falling damage? Yeah. Where did I put fall? Okay, uh, that's soaking, defeat, environmental hazards. Falling is on page 135 to 137. I thought I put that chart on here, but apparently not. Okay, 35 to 137. Falling damage. Um, ooh, oh, okay. Uh, roll a bonus dice for me. Just, just roll one of the dice in your in your thing at the bottom. Okay, so that's 18 damage. Good lord. Uh, uh, that's 18. Why I'm doing it. Yeah. 18 versus a toughness of 10. So he's got an 8. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. He's dead. <clears throat> he's done. He is post hostios. Assign status effects. <laughs> you just watch as I reach out, grab him. Fling him up to the air and just this fluid motion, and you, and then comes down and crunches with a sickening shrink. Yep, he's disconnected. So even if he was actually possibility rated, he would not have the ability to to uh, to uh, soak. Uh, and the way that he lands is really actually a sickening crunch, enough that it makes this ninja go. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably all. <You're> next, buddy. <laughs> you say that. Uh, I, I'm. I don't. I don't know if that's. I don't think you can get an intimidation roll out of that. So, uh, let's see. I, wow, brilliant. Uh huh. Uh, I think uh, Chris Cross could probably get an intimidation out of that. Yeah. Yeah. I think he probably could. I am not closing that. Keeping that open. There we go. And then... <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Um, let's see. What, what do you guys think? He Chris has already made his roll, but he only did one action, one uh, simple action. He's got a second simple action. Um, but he's only allowed one roll per turn. Should we take the bonus that he rolled and apply it to an intimidation? Uh, Nightbird. I'm fine with it. I know you're fine with it. Nightbird, what do you <laughs> think? Yeah. Uh... Oh, absolutely. Okay. And if he's not going to intimidate, I'm my being a full-on... Samurai in front of the ninja might actually <laughs> spring now. It it might. It might very well do that. Peaches. What do you think? Uh, oh yeah, I think that, that was very intimidating. I mean <laughs> Nightbird sliced one like tissue paper. Chris Cross does this mental whammy and he 
crunches in half. I would, if I were the third, if I were third in line uh -huh. for this guy, I'd be intimidated without anybody having to roll. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. Um, then the next one is going to be Artorius. What do you think? I mean... We're two for two so better far. Him th better him than me. Okay, that's three for three. Uh, that's more than half. We're just going to go with it. All right, so it's a plus five bonus to your intimidation. And let me get your sheet open so that I can see what that is. Uh, intimidation 11 uh, plus 5 that's 16 uh, let me close that back up and see um, does he have willpower no he does not so it's gonna oh geez um, okay so yeah you successfully intimidate him um, that is going to give him a stymie, and I need to do a die roll on him of uh, uh, spirit. Uh, let's see, spirit. No bonuses, standard roll. Okay. Oh, somebody disconnected. Okay, he failed. Uh, on his next turn, he he's going to turn and run. <laughs> yeah, I... I mean, understandable. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Uh, come on, pop that open. Text. Uh, will run round two if not dead. Okay. And... Oh. Oh, I don't have my number lock on. Why don't I have my number lock on? Okay. All right, and let's see. Oh, that's still pretty big. That's all right. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, Rios, you are next. Nightbird, you went first this this part of the round. So we're still not on the next turn. I know. I'm just telling you what. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Catherine, are you off? I'm back. Okay, so uh, it is your attack. What do you think you would like to do? And since this is your first combat, um, I will go ahead and see if, if... I'll have your character sheet open if you have any questions. Okay. So I think I'm going to use my saber here, but hold on. Now, of course, you had to draw it, so that takes one of your simple actions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I think I'm going to use my saber. So drawing okay. is one simple action, using it is the next? Correct. Um, now, don't forget to, to take your, uh, your cursor, your mouse, over the top of the ninja. You're getting ready to attack. And hit the T button on your keyboard. Okay. I think I did that right? Yep. And then go ahead and uh, click on the uh, D20 looking thing next to your saber on toward the lower right middle of your character sheet. And it's gotcha. going to pop up a window. Uh, don't forget your minus two due to the setback this round. Ah, okay. So under multi-action penalty? Uh, no, or, no, no, no. At the top right of that window, you should see a roll modifier. Under where it says bonus. Okay, hang on just a second. Let me pop this open. Uh, okay, yes, in the bonus window, uh, say input existing, or click on input existing and then put, my, oh, wait a minute, no, I'm sorry, roll. It is roll, and then it's a minus two in the, in the window. Okay. I've got to make sure that works. Let's so, see if that works. Yep, roll that. And let's see what happened. It did not work. You didn't get a modifier minus two. But it, it was a failure nonetheless. Uh, your action total was a 10 versus the target melee weapons or dexterity of 13. Uh, so you miss with your saber. Uh, but it did not put in the penalty. Why didn't it put in the penalty? 
it's not a multi-action it's not disfavored okay i'm gonna have you guys just use like difficulty numbers because you've got other modifiers down here and you can type in a description and then the effect which would probably work but that bonus is really weird okay well that's all right we're Should not gonna I worry put it under input in existing Should uh I put it under input existing um I don't know. Let, let, you know what? Let me try that real quick. Let me see if that does the trick. Input existing minus two. And roll failure. Yeah, it put it in that time. So input existing is minus two. I don't know why they named it input existing. So I'm gonna I'm going to have them figure out bonus or penalty. Okay, anyway, that is you for the round. What about Andon? Still a failure. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not going to be a double failure. Come on. Andon's actually good. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're more of the social type. Your character is more of the social type. Yeah, true. Fair which, enough. Which I have no qualms with whatsoever. That's your bailiwick. But what do you want to do with Andon? And you should have control of him. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think he pulls out his rifle. Well, there's no way he's going to be able to stow that rifle anywhere. That thing is as long as he is tall. It's an elephant gun. Ah, gotcha. now, the question okay. is this. <laughs> um... Let me see. I need this one right here. Are you going to want him to shoot between you and Chris when it's an elephant gun? Ah, uh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Scratching that idea. You could hit, you know, hit him with it like a club, though. Use my shoulder as a prop to hold up the muzzle. You, or, <laughs> or another thing you could do... Uh, <laughs> Another thing that you could do is move um, to another location and then try and shoot him. Again, this weapon is typically braced, so your total to shoot him is going to be a minus four. I think I'll just switch to him using his sword instead. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, are you just going to drop the gun, or are you going to try and put it away? I thought we were still deciding on what to do here, and then we would actually take the action afterwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're still deciding. Here's the problem. The gun is huge. You cannot store it anywhere on your body. Okay? Um, but you can jump take... Jump, 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 jump. You, you can either take a, a simple action to lay the gun on the ground, and then another simple action to pull your, okay. your other weapon... Or you could just drop it and then have uh, one action to pull a weapon and one action, but your 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 rifle might end up damaged. I think he'll set the rifle down and then take out his sword. As okay. Two actions. So then he'll be able to work with something next round. Got it. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to be on that. Sorry. Let me go back to people. Uh. So let's see, that's going to be, and, and that's the whole round right there. Each of you that performed an action, it doesn't have to be a successful action, please open your card hands, select a card, and put it in your pool. Okay, the only thing that you have to do is, is, uh, is basically add it. Does anybody need uh, help with getting a card into their pool? Well, I, I think none of my cards are really useful. It doesn't matter. Put a card in your pool. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You might end up or being able to trade for it. Uh, what are yeah. your, just for instance, what uh, are your options? Maybe we can give you some advice. Well, here, Ross, here's the deal. Um, what Ginger was saying was absolutely right. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's more than that. If you have a card that you put into your pool... Um, uh, it can help you 
later. Uh, you just put leadership into your pool. And if you go over the top of that leadership card, you know, play to place two cards into other characters' card pools directly from your hand or your pool. Okay, the hand and the pool are two separate things here. The hand is what you use outside of combat and action rounds. Okay, you can play mm -hmm. any card you want, and you can trade any card you want from hand to hand outside of combat rounds. Inside of combat rounds, things are a lot more restrictive. Okay, yeah, so I know. I just, okay, I just randomly pick one. Yeah, leadership's a very useful card. Yeah, definitely play that. One. Because you could play your other two cards into other people's hands and then immediately refill your hand. That means four cards. Yeah, not only if you re immediately fill your hand, um, if the opportunity is right, you can start playing those immediately or trading those immediately mm -hmm. as well. I mean, it's uh, well, because when you draw your cards, you can play them, you can draw them directly into your pool, can't you? Uh, it doesn't say that. You can play them card pools yeah. directly from your hand or pool, but you immediately yeah. refill your hand. Yeah, it's going to take some more playing to figure out. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's no yeah. problem. That's a really good card. Thank you for putting that in your pool. We'll help you out with that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a really good card. Um, so let's see. Uh, Artorius, you don't have anything in your pool yet. What's going on? I think his laptop may have frozen up on him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Catalia, I am back. Nightbird is somehow falling. Oh, that that was for when Chris dropped the guy. Yes, that's yes. funny. That was that was. I was trying to find cool falling him. I'm like, that one's great. That one's awesome. Yeah, because he Minecraft. Yeah, he, he just falls and falls and then splat. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, uh, Remy, are you with us? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so you you just got one in your pool then. Uh... Uh, no, you still haven't put one in Remy in, in Artorias pool. There you go. Supporter card. Right, That's a good one. card. Okay. All right. So next round, uh, let's see next round, new card. Okay. Here we go. Uh, if it'll do it, there you go. I'm not through yet. And if we were playing a DSR, it would be a complication. Ooh, the, uh, the ninjas get to go first, which means old boy is probably going to get to escape here. Uh, but heroes are inspired, and any action this turn will will gain you a card. So that's really good. Um, okay, but the villains get to go first. Let's get them put up here. All right. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Ninja, Ninja Ooh. Two is dead. Oh, that's how we do it. He's. Oh wait. Hold on. Now he's dead. That's the big one right there. You gotta do it. You you gotta do it in the combat tracker. Okay, Ninja One is not dead, and he's getting ready to run. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of him. I already know they have a uh, a dexterity of ten, so he is going to run between the apartment complexes here uh, and get out of dodge. Now let me see so that I can just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So he gets to the, he gets to the. Um, okay, let me see if I can explain this for you guys. You have the Parkhurst townhome, which is the left half of a pair of townhomes. This guy, this ninja, goes to the left of the townhome, uh, goes to the back of the uh, driveway that is there, um, jumps up a, you know those, uh, you know the, the railroad tie walls that are behind apartments and stuff like that sometimes, that can be like mm -hmm. four, five, and six ties high. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. this, this one is six ties high. So it's, it's like uh, five and a half feet, four and a half feet. He jumps up on top of that and into the bushes and he disappears. Now, 
that's not the end of it but we'll have to see how that works when when we get there uh, let's see I need to okay that guy's dead I'm gonna remove him from the combat from the combat um, ninja one is still in okay ninja two is gone ninja one is still in okay officer card let's deselect that and then reselect it so that he's got the base goal and then he's gone Okay, um, so Officer Shang is going to act, um, let's see, oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, there we go. Officer Shang is going to attempt to hit Peaches and um, uh, Artorias at the same time. Okay, so let's see. Nani? <laughs> all right i need to we're going to do the electric katana he's not disconnected um he is going if he gets there he's going to take one shock to increase damage total by two um oh um hold on i gotta close that okay between artorius and peaches what are your um, um, dodges, your your melee, your melee weapons? Uh, let's see real quick. My melee is uh, 13. 13. Artorius? Uh, how, do you, how do I calculate my melee again? Okay, you're going to double click to open your character sheet from your, from your token. Yeah, I've got it open. Okay, on your stats tab, you're going to look at the far right at defenses and look at your melee weapons line. It says 10. Oh. My melee weapons... Uh, oh, mine's 10. Defense. My melee weapons defense is uh, 15 with my armor and stuff. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought you just wanted okay. my melee weapons. I was looking under skills. No, I, I apologize. Uh... Okay, you guys know what this ninja is about to do. Do either of you want to take an active defense? What is he about to do? Hit us? Um, he's, he's trying to swing on you with his sword. On the two of you. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely uh, do an active defense. You want Okay, you won't be able to do anything else this round. That's okay. Um, I, I'm going to reconnect or play that card for my uh, power gloves. I want to keep them. Yes, that's a free action, so you're allowed to do that uh, when your turn comes around. So, um, Peaches, go ahead and click on Defenses in your character sheet. Defenses. Yep. And then hit Roll, or what? Uh, well, you're going to click on Defenses. Uh Let's see, you're not getting any bonus. You're walking, not multiple actions. Yep, just hit roll. Because it quite literally produces a bonus. In this case, you got a bonus of plus one. All of your bonuses have been modified. So your melee weapons is now a 16. Okay? Nice. So now yeah. I get to roll the electric katana versus an 18. So that's going to be plus two. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, there I go again. So T, let's roll this properly. Plus two. Uh, I don't think I need the plus, just the two. Okay, melee weapon. Da, 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 da. It is multi multi target penalty of two. Oh, then I don't have to put that in an existing. Good. Okay, multi-target penalty of two, to do to do Okay, and roll. And watch this guy flub it to pieces. And he did. Okay. Yep. So he missed on both attacks, um, uh, or not on both attacks, on, on his multi-attack, and there's no damage. Um, but now, uh, let me untarget Peaches. Come on. Now he is going to take off and run in the same direction as the other guy but he can only move 10 because he is um, 
uh, he he did not put in the minus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's right there. All right. Okay, so he's running away. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and close that for now. All right. What is this token? Okay, that's that other ninja. That's what I thought. Let's see. So that was both of the both of the ninjas are done. Okay, Captain Bouchard's turn. I gotta pop open Bouchard. He's right here. No, he's not. He's right here. He has a move of nine, so he's gonna try and walk up and shoot this cop in the back, which is not very sporting, I realize, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm only gonna move him up eight. And all right, so that is his target, Glock nine millimeter which he did not have out or else I see so okay so he can walk up using one uh, simple action and then draw his firearm for a second simple action okay but he'll have to wait until next turn as well okay now it's up to you guys do you have any grand plans I'm pursuing ninja one uh that's my plan. <laughs> I would like to try and use Ice Burst on the cop to keep him from moving so we can maybe try to interrogate him. Okay, but you're going to have to move before you can do that. Okay, so what yeah. we've got is uh, is our samurai chasing down uh, the bad guys. Uh, we've got our mage trying to drop Ice Burst to lock him in place. What about the rest of you? Uh, can I... Uh... Uh, you know, follow and see if I could use my telekinesis to l just lift them up and hold them in the air. <laughs> um, that might come to cross purposes for what um Artorius is trying to to accomplish. You guys talk that out. Uh, which one do you think is gonna succeed more, Artorius? Like, well, are you? The question is, are you doing the 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 officer that? The shard is going to shoot, or the actual other ninja here? Which one are you going after? Yeah, are you talking officer ninja or the the one that's trying to escape? For me? Uh, or Chris? I mean, yes. there's two targets. So we could do one, and one does the other. The The problem is you're going to have to chase down the other ninja and get him into an open spot. Yeah, he does have a pretty decent head start on us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have the same speed, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jason. I'm used to running in my armor, so... Okay. Uh, 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 Peaches and Rios, what do you think? What do you want to do? I'm going to go after uh, uh, Sergeant... Or, or Bouchard. Captain, Captain Bouchard? Bouchard? Just yeah. to what? To yeah. keep him safe or? Yeah, make sure he doesn't fall in a hole, whatever. Just keep him safe. <laughs> he's, he's our guy. Bad things would happen if we lost our liaison. Okay. Again. <laughs> Rios? <laughs> uh, well, since we've already got somebody going after our guy, I think I'll go into the house. Okay. Um... <laughs> There is police tape uh. across the door. It says police line do not cross. Well, we had an escort. Just because he isn't here now doesn't mean we no longer have permission to go in. Well, okay. I mean, the house can wait to say it. <laughs> it's not the house isn't going anywhere. Sure, who needs to wait? Okay. Uh. Don't turn into me in the last scene, who's just up in the house all by themselves. <laughs> okay, Rios, are you going to take 
Anden with you. Okay. All right. So the front door, uh, I, I don't think it's locked. You should be able to walk up and, on, and, and open that front door just by clicking All on right. it. So go ahead and move your Ooh. both of your tokens up there. Okay, so uh, let, let me get this out of the way, folks, and then we'll figure out an order of battle because you do see the door there, right? The yeah. door icon? Go ahead. I'm just trying to get both of them to it first before I open it. Hey, there you go. Okay, it works. This is my very first door icon opening in, in Foundry. So awesome. <laughs> awesome. I definitely closed it on myself. Oh, that's yeah. pretty nasty. Yeah, you, you don't need to close it again. Okay. Fancy. So you step into the house, but I want you to wait just a minute. Okay. So. Pretty fancy like. Take my shoes off by the door. What what are your speeds in particular? Ross, I think you're a 10, right? Your dexterity is a 10? Yes, my dexterity is a 10. Okay. Uh, so you can run up to 30. Connor? Oh, Connor. Are you on mute, Connor? My dexterity is also 10. Okay, so you can also move 30. I'm not muted. You're going to be... Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, sorry, I that was very delayed. I said that like uh, 10, 20 seconds ago. Um, okay. Well, I, I, I put a video up in the, uh, the chat uh, uh, yesterday about... Um, uh, being able to get more speed out of your uh, out of your uh, computer, so you might look at that because m my upload speed, at the very least, almost doubled, which was really nice. My download speed remained the same, but uh, okay. So let's see. You would be slightly behind Nightbird. Uh, Peaches, how fast do you move? What's your Dex? My Dex is also ten. Okay, you're going to be slightly behind Chris, and then Artorius. Dang, I'm slow. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Okay, so that means no, that you can move. Gonzalez's. That means that you can move at twenty-four. Okay, Ross. Right. He. Uh, are you going after the uh, the? If the, I'm after the white ninja that ran away. The white ninja that ran away. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to kind of reset. <laughs> I'm going to kind of reset Four. your target a little bit. Okay, and let me go. Oh, come on, let loose. Let me go grab this ninja. Okay, so you two are going to be kind of in a foot race. Okay, now uh, I'll adjust things as we're going along. Uh, Connor. Uh, Chris, you're going to be next. Where uh, where are you going to go? Are you going after the white ninja or the cop ninja? I'll go after the white ninja. Okay, so yes. Ross. Just because I said actually, he was next, or <laughs> Ross, don't move. I'm gonna follow through. <laughs> okay, so now let me turn this around. Okay, I'm getting you guys into a relative position for this uh for this chase more or less where it's it's gonna be a chase dsr uh and, and we're gonna try and do better than we did last time but once i've well, got it's almost 11 here, yeah so. yeah i i'm seeing that just now uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna get people in position i'm gonna kind of write down some basic notes and then uh and then we're gonna uh, get to a point where we can cut it tonight uh peaches uh, cop ninja or white ninja? Cop ninja. Cop ninja. Okay. So you're basically, since you moved at 10 and 30, you can see where Bouchard went to. Oh, come on. Turn around. Why is it not turning around the way it's supposed to? That's really we weird. Turn around. We I, you know, I, I contacted the guy about, you know, that, that built this and, uh, and, and he doesn't have an answer. So, 
Um, damn. Okay, what about control? Can I use control? No. That does just as well. Close enough. That'll work. That's um, there. <laughs> okay. And then Artorius. Cop ninja or white ninja? Uh, I have a better chance of helping with cop ninja. I okay. I'll make it to white ninja. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can get pretty much right here. Okay. All right. So we've got we've oh, we've got settings for the evening. Uh, uh, Rios and Andon just entered the house uh, to kind of look around, and we'll kind of handle that again next week. Uh, we'll go to round three. Uh, now wait a minute. That's just movement. Okay. Um, let's let's go from the top to the bottom. Nightbird. With running full out, that takes care of both of your simples. Peaches, you have, do you want to, you can take an action if you want to take it uh, starting next week. What? It, it, when, when we play next week, you, you only, you didn't even go 10. 1, 2, uh. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You went exactly 10. Okay. All right. Um, so Sorry. you can um, still take an action against this police officer next week. All right. I, I can, I can run with my, you know, I can run with scissors, uh, <laughs> run with my axe. <laughs> okay. I'm going to my, my, I'm gonna swing my axe at his back. Okay. Uh, we know what's going on with Andon and Rios. I'm going to have you two just had going into the house this, this round and kind of looking around. Um, Let's see, Artorius, um, you also did not move more than your walking speed, so you can attempt to attack next week. Uh, let's see, Chris, you did, so no attacking for you. Nah, 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 nah. Um, okay, so we'll finish attacks this next week uh, when we when we resume. Fair enough. All right. Enough. All right. Any questions, queries, quibbles, or quips? No, sir. Uh, no, sir. All right. Good night. I have right. an appointment in the morning. Oh, yeah. All right, Ross. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, man. You Thanks for Billy sticking Bad. it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Ginger. <laughs> yeah, Ginger, Sorry, want that you? That would have gotten very much worse <laughs> if it hadn't been here. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, if there are no questions, um, we're into scene three, folks. That was quick. No. Woo! Woo! So, Finally, we're moving quickly in something. <laughs> Actually, you've been moving quickly. It's just uh, not as quickly. So we finished scene one tonight, did all of scene two, and we're uh, just beginning into scene three. And that's just awesome sauce to me. So uh, if you guys don't have anything else to do, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the recording. Yay! And and uh, and start it we uploading. We are supposed to pull all of our cards out of our pools, correct? And what? No, no. Don't okay. pull anything out of your pools or your hands or anything. Leave them there for next week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because they're still valid cards. It's not the end of the scene or the act. So. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Oh, bless you all. Have a great night. You, you too, too, sir. Thanks, sir. It's so much more fun when it works. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Good. Good. Yeah, I'm glad you had fun. fun. I'm really glad you guys so had fun. So did I. Yeah, so glad you're back in action, Paul. Da 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 da, da yes. <laughs> da -da. Oh, I just realized uh -huh. you had no technical difficulties for your computer. No technical difficulties. Uh, On his end, at least. Well, well yeah. Had yeah, a yeah, couple yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, were all minor. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just reconnections. You're, you're going to have to hunt down what that problem is, or you're going to have to stop drinking or something. Um. <laughs> <Your dog. laughs> All right, y'all. Have a great night. Good night. Good night.
as well. Bye. Bye. Yes. Yes, it was an awesome night.